Here, a cargo hold has a grain capacity of 3,200 cubic meter. Let me just render line and bale capacity of 3,100 cubic meter. Well, the difference between grain capacity and bale capacity is that grain capacity is a total internal volume and bale capacity is when the cargo is used as package. So here we need to find the quantity of each of the following commodity which can be loaded in the compartment. So let's discuss about cotton bales first. The storage factor is 1.6 cubic meter per ton and broken storage is 10%. So we know the storage factor has to be collected for broken storage. And this is added as percentage of storage factor. So here storage factor is 1.6. Now the 10% which is broken storage of the storage factor which is 1.6 gives me 1.6 plus 0.1.6 is equal to 1.76 cubic meter per ton. The quantity of cotton bales can be easily found by this formula. The volume divided by storage factor. Let me give the explanation to this formula that uh, density is mass over volume. So the storage factor is volume over mass. So in case here mass I replace with cotton bales. So mass is volume divided by a storage factor and here I am using corrected storage factor. Well you can have a look with the unit. So here it is cubic meter and cubic meter get cancelled per ton comes here. So this is the quantity of cotton bales. Similarly, we can find quantity of iron ores. It is volume divided by a storage factor. So again, iron ore is storage factor 0 0.4. And if we go up here, the bale capacity is 3100, but grain capacity is 3200. So in case of iron, I am going to use this 3200 that is the green capacity and I get this answer which is 8000 ton. Now if the load density of holding above was 10 tons per square meter and dimensions of the cargo hold is 18 that is length 15 breadth and 12 meter find the quantity of cargoes in both case. Well, we know that the maximum quantity of cargo that can be loaded can be found by PLD that is permissible load density multiplied by area. So here the permissible load density is 10. Let me write the unit 10 per meter square and the area is this is length 18 and the breadth is 15. So 18 and 15 I get this 2700 ton. Well, this meter is square get cancelled with meter and meter. Now quantity of cotton bales is restricted by volume. What does it mean? Well, maximum quantity I can load 2700, but in this 3100 cubic meter bale capacity, when the hole is already full, I can have only cotton bales of 1761.36 ton. Similarly, the quantity of iron ores is 8000 ton, but the capacity is 2700 ton only. It is restricted by the density or permissible load density. So the quantity, maximum quantity of iron ore will be 2700 tons only. I hope that clarifies the concept. Now let me uh, solve this uh, interesting problem. Uh, generally asked for second mate examination. So here the load capacity, twin deck capacity is 18, 15 and 4. Well, and has a permissible load density of 5 ton per meter square. Steel bullets of storage factor so and so and general cargo of a storage factor so and so are loaded 
to fill the all available space. We need to find the maximum quantity of steel bellets that can be loaded and the quantity of over stored general cargo so that load density is not exceeded. So here let me uh, find the volume of compartment which is 18, 15 and 4. So we multiply and get this value. This is the volume of compartment. Now area of deck is 18 multiplied by 15 which is 270 meter square. This is in meter and this is also in meter. The permissible load density is 5 ton per meter square. So we can find maximum quantity of cargo loaded that is permissible load density multiplied by area of deck. So this is the steel pellets. Well, this is this will give me uh, let me just write the unit. Uh, the unit is already written just a strike so it is 1350 ton. So here, let us assume that X ton is the steel billets and Y ton is the general cargo. So X plus Y is the total cargo which is 1350 ton here, 1350 ton. So this is equation 1. Now space occupied by steel billets will be storage factor multiplied by the quantity of steel billets. We know it very well that density is equal to mass over volume. So the storage factor is volume divided by mass. So the space volume is nothing but a storage factor multiplied by the mass. So here 0 0.35 into x cubic meter that is the space occupied by steel billets. Well, this is in cubic meter per ton and the quantity is in ton. So I get directly cubic meter. Similarly, the space occupied by general cargo is a storage factor multiplied by y. So I get this 4y cubic meter. Well, the sum of these uh, 0 0.35 and 4y is the total capacity which uh, I have already calculated here 1080 cubic meter. So from equation x plus y is 1350, I get x. The value of x is 1350 minus y. Now I am going to put this value here in equation number 2. 0 0.35 into x and x is 1350 minus y plus 4y is equal to 1080. So, uh, just let me multiply here, 0 0.35 multiplied by 1350 minus 0 0.35y. Well, let me again solve, this is 472.5 and this minus 0.35y plus 4y gives me 3.65. Again, let's start solving here, 3.65y is 1080 minus 472 so I bring it here so this is 607.5 so y is equal to 607.5 divided by 3.65 so I get this 166.438 ton well similarly if uh, I had assumed x is equal to 1350 minus y so 1350 minus y, the value of y is uh, 166.438, so I get x which is 1183.562. So this is the quantity of x which is uh, considered as steel billets and the quantity of y, steel billets here, general cargo is 166.438. That's it.